Hello guys and welcome back to the railway. Um, happy December of course. Um, I've started to have a bit of a clean up up here so hopefully you can start to see the difference. Um, I'm going to be doing a review today on the brand new Hornby Gadwell uh, which features TTS Sound Digital. So I'm going to get the camera up on the tripod and we're going to start by unboxing it straight away. Okay, so this is the new Hornby Gadwell. It's, of course, an A4 uh, Pacific locomotive uh, that's available for £99 on the Hornby website. I ordered this back on Tuesday and it came yesterday, Friday, so less than a week. Uh, so I'm going to open the box up and we'll get her out. We'll have a quick look at the box first as well. So as you see here, uh, you've got some of the uh, information about it. Uh, you've got the product number, LNER462, Class A4, uh, the name of course, and then um, the TTS sound decoder fitted. And it's the railroad range, so we can expect not limited quality, but possibly um, inferior quality to the, uh, well not quality, detail I should say, um, to the railways range. Uh, but the quality, uh, as you're about to experience, uh, is actually on par with any other Hornby product. Now I've got to get this thing off. I'm going to come round and do it actually. Right, now I've already I've taken this out already so I'm not sure why it's putting up such a fight. It certainly is. Okay, and if I pull this back you can hopefully get a good look at her. And already while she's in the box um, it's an ideal moment to have a good look at some of the points here. So, of course, you've got the name here on the, the nameplates, Gadwall. Uh, you've got the red uh, red trim on the wheels. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, which is always nice. I really like that. You've got the LNER. Um, as you can see on the detail front, it's fairly basic. Um, but I think what needs to be there is there. Um, and more on that later. Um, we go around the back of the box without letting it fall out. You got the brakes, uh, the spare couplings, uh, vacuum piping, and various detailing, uh, which you can stick or glue on if you'd like to. Uh, but for now, I think we'll get her out, put her on the tracks, and then we'll get some shots of her on there, and we'll discuss in slightly more detail, um, you know, the various points about the loco. Okay, be right back. Now we're going to have another look at her features. We're going to be discussing the twin track sound, um, which uh, features inside the tender, and also some of the more visual elements. So, TTS sound. As you can see on the bo box, right there, you can't actually because it's blurred, uh, but that stands for twin track sound. And as far as I can tell, whereas standard DCC sound um, has multiple tracks, you can play lots of sounds over each other, this is only twin track, so for example you could play the chuffing sounds and then perhaps a whistle over the top of it uh, but you can, you're limited to two tracks um, which is the difference between as far as I can tell the difference between standard DCC sound and twin track sound um, but of course on the plus side the price difference so you have to ask yourself is an additional hundred pounds worth paying just so that you can play more sounds uh, in terms of sound quality as far as I can tell um, the sound quality is matched by regular DCC locos and there's not a lot of difference there. Now due to the nature of the setup here, um, the, the speaker at least, I don't know if the decoder is too, but the speaker at least for the sound system is inside the tender and as a result of that um, the tender is permanently connected to the locomotive um, which doesn't, pro it doesn't present a problem really. Um, I suppose the only issue is taking it out of the packaging and moving it around. Um, if like me you prefer to move the loco and tender separately um, then that might produce a bit of a problem, but as long as you're careful, I'm sure you can't do any damage. And there is also a plug underneath the tender. Um, you can see there the wires going underneath, um, which is cool. Uh, there's lots of pickups everywhere. There's tender pickups and everything, um, as you'd expect. And I'll just give you some close-ups of what, we, what we're dealing with here. So you can see there's quite a lot of mold detail. There's nice um, painted on uh, red and white stripes. You've got the handrails up here and then you've got the brass whistle um, up there at the front or whatever it is <laughs> the chimney of course, standard A4 chimney and then you've got these sort of embedded uh, metal pieces in there which are nice uh, you've got the uh, windows on the top which don't slide open they are set uh, as they are but again I think little is more 
Now a strange point I noticed was um, sprung buffers on the front, but no sprung buffers on the back. And I, I imagine that's because possibly the tender was developed separately um, from the rest of the loco. Um, because it's you know it's fairly new, isn't it? This TTS lock. So perhaps perhaps that's true. It's personally not something I'm too bothered about. I I'm not too fussed about sprung buffers. Um, but the coupling, as you can see, is quite slim. Uh, it is an M, as far as I can tell. Uh, as in, it does slide out, and you can replace it. And there's place for a vacuum pipe there as well. Right. So we're going to get her running. Let's give it a try. Okay, so we're going to start by exploring some of the various sounds uh, and things. So, I've, as you can see, I've got Railmaster running on my iPad, um, running through Railmaster on the laptop. We can expect, well, we can explore, as you can see, up to F5, function 5, whoops. Um, apart from that, after, the, after we go there, oh, hello, by the way. Hello. After we uh, go through those, we have to move on um, onto the computer, which has the rest. Now, I've kept the documents out purposely. Uh, so that we can uh, see what sounds we can play. We'll look at those more. But for now, function zero is the basic sound, so... There we go. Okay. More on that when we run her. So I'll turn that off. Turn it off. There we go. Okay. So then, the next three functions are the whistles. Now, I'm not going to go through all these sounds, but I think we'll explore some. Okay, so, F1 should be one of the whistles. Okay. And that's the chime whistle long. Uh, don't pay too much attention to this F list, because F0 and F0 on here are different. F2, though, as you can see, is a shorter whistle. Uh, what else have we got up to five? Uh, we've got the doors slamming shut, which is this one. No, it's not, and that's wheel slip. <laughs> okay, so this should be the door slamming. There you go. Yeah, F5 uh, there was wheel slip. Uh, and now we'll move on. Uh, one interesting one is Fireman's Breakfast, um, which lets you hear the uh, <laughs> the noise of the bacon and whatnot. So then we have to do that from here. I'm not sure how we can do that on the tablet. Oh, hang on. It does this. It's a bit glitchy. I always start with... I open it again and that normally works. There you go. So you can really hear that bacon, or whatever it is, bacon and eggs, sizzling away. Yep. And it, I have sometimes a bit of trouble getting that to stop. Ah, uh, it started again. So what I tend to do is switch this on, and switch it off, and that shuts it all up. Um, I suppose another one uh, that's interesting to listen to is the coal shoveling. That's F7. We can really hear the coal. So let's push F7. So you can uh, imagine the fireman inside shoveling his coal. Oh, that stopped automatically. That's good. All right. But for now, we will start with function zero. Put the sound on, and then we'll get her running. Right. See how close we can get this. We'll go uh, around about there. Okay. Here we go. And then we'll bring her back. got a few coaches set up um, ready so if I turn this light round you can see them um, again it's the same story really but um, we've got quite a few on there how many have we got four or five six eight I think eight coaches so we'll uh, I'll film the coupling as well as I can I think we'll probably end up doing some sort of pan so we'll try there she comes
a bit tricky trying to do everything at the same time. <laughs> Multitasking, you know. Right. And I think it's time to get her going. It seems very fast, but it's really not. It just makes it sound faster, of course. Real slipping just a little bit. As you can hopefully tell, she's reasonably powerful. Uh, has no problems pulling a great big load at all. No problem at all. I think we can all agree she looks lovely, regardless of the range that she's from. And she's pulled to a stop. So, as you can see, I think she is a lovely looking loco. Um, it doesn't matter about the price or the detail or whatever like that. Uh, I think it really captures the charm of the class really nicely. And, you know, it's clearly an A4. Um, and I think that's what's good about it. 
Um, just another note by the way, uh, the Christmas video that is going to be coming out on the 19th of December has been finished and it includes all you guys in it as well, um, so keep an eye out for that, I think it's on Friday the 19th of December, uh, could be wrong about that, uh, but yeah, that's the hope. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you soon, and keep enjoying the hobby, I'll see you next time.